All right, man, we got to get right into it. This is breaking news. It's just coming out right now. Synth Punk hit me up. He said, dude, you got to check it out. It's over for Moog. It's over. They're leaving Asheville, shutting down the headquarters. We thought it was coming. Now it's here. Let's go with that Synth show. All right, it's a sad day, man. Let's get right to the news. We don't need to keep this too long. Let's jump right over to the to the breaking news room. Right here, 16 hours ago, Moog Music is leaving its iconic Asheville headquarters as company president Joe Richardson says that the workforce had to be rationalized following the in-music takeover. Not good at all. With any transition like this, where there's an acquisition, there's a number of roles that become redundant or roles that are already existed in the organization that they came into. So, I mean, we knew it was happening. Redundancy. Excuse me there, Mr. Samurai. Your skills aren't needed here anymore. Sorry for your 20 years of service, but it's sad, man. Moog Music announced that is set to leave its current manufacturing headquarters on Broadway Street, Asheville, and move to another building in the city. Hmm, interesting. The current Moog Music Building, Moog Music Building, whatever you want to call it, we call it the In Music Music Building now, has become one of the most recognizable in high tech music industry hosting artist performance, sound labs being opened, blah, blah, blah. In a statement shared by local news outlets, Moog says that the move will involve the relocation of product design, development and engineering staff they will be moving into a second floor of a building ah oh, from the iconic moog building to the second floor of an apartment building man come on what are we university students again man this is like leaving your mansion and moving into the to the little uh one bedroom above the quickie mart downtown nothing wrong with that but come on man the Citizens Times itself, let's jump over here, man. Check out what this site's saying. Right from Asheville, Citizens Times. Global electronic music instrument maker Moog changing Asheville offices, former CT says. Synthesizer maker Moog has says it will shift his product design to the Broadway Street. 1930 Art Deco building on Henry Ave, just north of that. That comes as the Citizens Time newsroom plans this month to vacate its second floor offices, which it had been renting since parent company Garnet sold the building to local investors in 2018. Its first floor is now home to record maker and cafe Citizen Vinyl. The location moves Moog towards the city center where there's so much creativity and musical expression lives. So listen, man, Joe Richardson, president of Moog, you can like, what is it? You, you, what do you want to do? Put lipstick on the, you know what you say, or all fur coat, no knickers, as my British mates say. This is just, you know, another word for, hey, man, we're getting rid of history and we're jumping. Maybe it'll be good for Moog. I don't know. We'll see when the Moog mirror comes out. But I kind of feel like it's a little bit sad. You guys tell me. Unless they're going to turn it into a museum or something. A follow-up interview, Richard said, that the Moog staff were big fans of Citizen Vinyl, and they appreciated CEO Gar Raglan's efforts to support music in different ways. And I'm sure, hope, that there is a day in the future that we'll be collaborating with artists and bringing more music to Asheville. In another change, Moog's manufacturing will expand at its current Weaverville location north of Asheville. A, mo a move Richardson said will enhance assembly and warehouse capabilities and more convenient for staff who build synthesizers. Interesting, man. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Moog, much production moved to Taiwan or other places, but since that time, Richardson said the company has added workers and expects to increase staff with the manufacturing expansion. Ho oh, ho, maybe Samurai was wrong. Maybe this is a wonderful thing. Okay, maybe I changed my mind. The change is the second move recently announced by the major Asheville music entity with Echo Mountain recording studies saying it would leave its downtown site for a new undisclosed location. All right, so you guys tell me what you think, man. Jump back here, anything else in this one? Citizen Vinyl. He said, with any transition like this, where there's an acquisition, 
There's a number of roles that become redundant or roles that already existed in a new organization. The workforce had to be rationalized to reflect this new consolidation business model. There's a period of time where we had to rationalize our assortments of products, identify where the most appropriate place to build those and the expertise most required. All right, so they're moving. They're moving their beautiful building right here. Who knows what that's going to turn into? Now maybe it'll turn into a brewery. Someone should open up and call it the Goom. It's just spell Moog backwards, call it Goom, Goom Brewing, and put on con put on uh, live concert shows. But there you go, man. That's the news. That's breaking today. So go look into it yourself. Report on it. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. Is Moog officially over? Or is this the new beginning, the birth, the birth pains of an absolutely revolution in the synthesizer industry via Moog. We'll see if they release $10,000 synthesizer or $6,000 synthesizer. We won't be happy, but that's it for today. That's that synth show. Shloo, shloo.